The most prolific form of print to be found from the 19th century is that of the albumen print, a process invented in 1850. This was the method that dominated print production for the second half of the 19th century and has special structural, chemical and aesthetic qualities. The albumen printing process was an improvement to the salted paper process. It produced a rich, sharp image with excellent reproduction of detail, great density and contrast, and was an ideal match for the collodion negative, which was introduced about the same time. The original recipe for the preparation of albumen paper was simple. Egg white was beaten to a froth with a saturated salt solution, and the mixture was allowed to settle overnight. The solution was then placed in a tray and the paper was floated on the albumen for one minute and hung to dry. The dried paper was not light sensitive and would keep indefinitely in this condition. To print with the material, the paper had to be sensitised by floating on a strong solution of silver nitrate and dried again. It was then ready to place in the printing frame in contact with salted paper or collodion negative and exposed to daylight. The print is then fixed, toned and washed. Paper suitable for albumin must be extremely thin and smooth with the highest standards of purity. Made only from the finest cotton or linen rags, as papers made from other plant materials, such as wood pulp or hemp, contain impurities and cause acidification when in contact with sensitized coatings. Only two companies from the 1850s to 1914 produced paper of high enough quality to be used for the albumin process. These two mills, one in Reeves, France, near Grenoble, and the other in Malmedy, Belgium, supplied nearly all of the photographic raw stock consumed in the 19th century. They both possessed the natural advantage of being located on mineral-free water supplies. To give you some idea of the scale of this eggy 19th century obsession, one company in Dresden in 1888 produced 18,674 reams of albumen paper. Each ream consisted of 480 sheets of A2 sized paper. To coat a ream of paper required 9 litres of albumin solution obtained from 27 dozen eggs. Thus total production for that one year in this one factory consumed over 6 million eggs. Albumin is a printing out process. In comparison to developing out papers, albumin prints differ in the morphological qualities of their silver deposits. In albumen papers, the silver is in the form of very fine round particles of silver, an unstable medium more prone to deterioration as opposed to the stable filamentary silver structure of later developing out silver gelatin papers. Highly susceptible to silver oxidation because of the small size of particle, the silver oxidizes into ions, migrates and reduces back to metallic silver. Oxidation is caused by environmental pollutants but also contact with poor quality storage and mounting materials and is accelerated by high heat, humidity and exposure to light. The structural character is what gives albumin prints their incredible resolution but also leaves them particularly vulnerable to the environment. The distinction in print types must be understood to meet their special conservation needs. Thank you for listening and stay safe.